A singer who has written her a tune Is a singer who has written her a tune Crystal Warren, welcome to RN Breakfast. Thank you for having me. Uh, Crystal, I've read you describe your sound as Stevie Withers McCartney. Now, I'm assuming that's Stevie Wonder, not Stevie Nicks. Ooh, nice question. But yes, I was thinking Stevie Wonder. Okay, maybe with a little bit of Stevie Nicks thrown in occasionally. Sometimes I dance around in my black dress, yes. I noticed that you have a thing about love songs. Your latest album is called Love Songs, A Time You May Embrace. Can a singer ever tire of singing love songs and can an audience ever tire of hearing them? Seems to be a question that Paul McCartney himself once posed. Do you think that people or you think that people would have had enough of silly love songs? Fortunately, these are not silly. Um, <laughs> the love songs I've come up with. Um, but no, I, I don't think that anyone really gets tired of, of of that topic. And I think that it's it's one of the things that's always inspired any artist across the board. Um, so yeah. So you write in this first album, these are songs, love songs written by you. So presumably about your loves and your loves lost. Um, more of the, the loves lost for the second side. But um, yeah, it's, it's kind of a, a, a patchwork of, of my own experiences and, and some imaginary scenarios. But um, with enough distance, you know, between me and the songs that it really seems like I'm writing about another couple that I've met. I think it's worth noting that you've got another album coming out soon that's already recorded. It's called A Time to Refrain. Love songs are time to refrain from embracing. Let's hear a love song. We can judge for ourselves whether it's silly or not. <clears throat> Thank you. Okay, this one's called um, Little Wonder. Little Wonder takes a glance over her shoulder The sunset is undetermined at best in her hand she holds a book of poetry And the author she must read before her test City lights are blinking red to green She's breathing life into the memory of a friend And because she knew the crazy span of waxing light So she smiles as she turns around the bend and there's a boy remembering their kiss in Italy And a writer who's still waiting for his muse And an artist who held her for a sighing second Now is a singer who has written her a tune A singer who has written her a tune it's little wonder I have written you a tune, yeah. Slightly out of tune, that one, actually. <laughs> no, I thought that was beautiful and particularly good at this time of the morning when you just got off a plane last night. Well done. Thank you. Thank and, you. And, look, I know, I know that you do, you're not afraid of, of recording covers and singing covers, and I've, I've seen some footage of you singing um, Eleanor Rigby, a Beatles song, which is pretty ambitious, really, to take on the Beatles, <laughs> it, it, always. But could it be true that you have an ambition, I read, a desire to make a Jethro Tull covers album that now dusty springfield true. i can understand but jethro tull it's very true big fan of theirs really? so many gems in that pile of tull um that i would certainly love to revisit somewhere down the road well crystal it's great to have you here you live in paris you moved there i think for for a record contract why have you stayed there why paris great food um, <laughs> and also, you know, it's just, it's really lovely being, um, in, in such a, a gorgeous city and as a musician who travels really often, it's, it's great to be able to hop on a plane and go anywhere. And you plan on staying in Paris? I'd like to be buried next to Jim Morrison if there's enough space. Another Yankee. Yeah. Krista Warren, <laughs> thanks very much for joining us on Breakfast. Thank you again for having me.